Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL and we are here with some NBA 2K Mobile. In today's video, we will be breaking down the rewards for the Fantasy Finals. They are based around the Jam Master's theme. So let's get into the video topics. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be doing a stats breakdown for all the Fantasy Final reward players. We're gonna discuss what players are involved, their strengths, weaknesses, along with some build suggestions. We're gonna rank each player by position based off the rarity that they're part of. We're gonna discuss Ruby DeAndre Jordan with a breakdown. We're gonna do an Amethyst Aaron Gordon breakdown. And finally, we're gonna do an Onyx Dominique Wilkins breakdown. So this should definitely help out all the players inside the 2K Mobile community, all right? So let's start breaking down these stats. We're gonna start with Ruby DeAndre Jordan. All right, so Ruby DeAndre Jordan should be the first reward for all players, and for some should be the second reward as well. So he has an overall stat average of 3.1. His player position is a center, and among Ruby centers, he ranked 17th. Now his strengths is layups and dunks, strength and rebounding. So those are all solid qualities for a center. And if you know DeAndre Jordan from NBA history, he's been one of the greatest put back rebound dunking centers you know that the game has seen from alley -oop passes from chris paul to monster blocks and crazy dunks right remember the dunk he did over brandon knight deandre jordan has been a beast right now his weaknesses is mid-range shooting three-point shot post scoring and playmaking right deandre's not your scoring post scoring center like a joel and b shaquille o'neal if you can rely on him solely for layups and dunks and rebounding, he'll get the job done for you. I know when I first started the game, I was using Amethyst DeAndre Jordan for a while as my center because I just needed him to grab rebounds. And he was a monster inside of head-to-head -head because he did exactly that. So if you could build your team around his deficiencies, he'll be good for your team. Like he'll do what you need him to do. You'll get your shooters. If they miss, he'll grab the rebound and pass it right back. So that will be something that he'll be able to do easily for your team. So he's not necessarily the worst player to get, especially if he's for free from a reward, all right? And trust me, Fantasy Finals, the first tier is super easy. So you should be able to get that reward with no problem. Now, as far as a build for DeAndre Jordan, like I stated in other videos, when you have a player that has stats that are just super low, and I would say anything like lower than three, it might not be a good idea to invest in those categories, right? Because you're kind of limited on the amount of points you could add with gear and mentors. Especially for players that didn't play in season one, you won't be able to use mentors at all. So with the gear, you're most likely looking like an additional plus two to a pip. If you got an epic gear in legendary, you might be able to do a little better than that. But nonetheless, I think with DeAndre Jordan, the best build that you might want to do is something that would maximize his rebounding and bring up his defending, along with layups and dunks. If you can bring those three stats up to six or seven, he's gonna be really, really good for your team. And you won't regret it. Like he will find a role and you're gonna look past his scoring deficiencies, all right? So now that we discussed DeAndre Jordan, let's get into Amethyst Aaron Gordon. All right, so Aaron Gordon has an overall stat average of 3.8. His position is power forward and among the Amethyst power forwards, he is ranked 10th. Now his strengths is layups and dunks, right? His weaknesses is shoot off dribble, post scoring, and playmaking, right? Now let's be real though, Aaron Gordon has a lot of stats that are four, right? He only has that one stat that's a five. So I would say overall, he's not bad. I use him on my team as my Onyx power forward. Well, just up to recently, because I did get Lamarcus Aldridge over the last couple of days, but Aaron Gordon is my highest upgraded power forward and he isn't bad at all similar to deandre jordan great rebounder put back dunks fast break dunks decent agility for power forward right he has a higher agility rating than kevin garnett just to give you some insight his three-point shot if you shoot from certain spots for him he will make the three-point shot i've showed him plenty of streams he can make a three-point shot at a very consistent rate as long as you get his spots, which is like the sides of the keys, the corners. He nails those with no problem. His mid-range as well is decent. So with Aaron Gordon, you kind of can upgrade him to be a prototype power forward in this day and age where he's going to be able to shoot and grab some rebounds. 
Or you can make him a post-scoring machine like a Sean Kemp by building up his layups and dunks even more and maybe building up his post-scoring. But nonetheless, like you can do a lot with Aaron Gordon. I think he's super underrated in this game. He is really good in my opinion. And if you want to run with a build similar to mine with Aaron Gordon, what I did was I brought up his layups and dunks. I brought up his rebounding along with his mid-range shooting. Because uh, again, I wanted him to be able to be a explosive presence down low. Someone with a decent mid-range that I can depend on when my playmakers are penetrating and passing out. And somebody who can hit a three-point shot if left wide open, right? That's really what I need for my team because I got a lot of scorers. So if my big men could be dominant rebounders who can dunk easily, that's super key for me. So, I mean, that's pretty much Aaron Gordon. Now let's get into Onyx Dominic Wilkins. All right, so what more can I say about Dominic Wilkins? One of the best small forwards in the game, NBA legend. And when it comes to a Jam Master theme, it only makes sense sense that he's part of it now Dominique has an overall stat average of 4.6 play position is small forward and among onyx small forwards he is the second highest rank his strengths as you can see there are many greatest shoot off dribble layups and dunks mid-range shooting agility strength and defending and to be honest with you he has no weaknesses and the reason why i say that is because his lowest category is a four so with Dominique Wilkins, you can create a build that suits your playstyle best. Now, you can go for a full explosive version of Dominique Wilkins. You can maximize the shoot off dribble, rebounding, and mid-range shooting, right? To give him that role similar to Aaron Gordon, Sean Kemp. Or you can have him stretch out the floor a bit and boost up his three-point shot, boost off his shoot off dribble, that way he can create offensive opportunities for himself with a jump shot. If he's wide open, he can nail that shot as well. His agility is a five, so he's going to be fast, right? He's going to be very swift and get the job done for you. I mean, there's a lot you can do with Dominic Wilkins. His post scoring is decent as well. So if you can boost that up, you can have him be more of a presence in the mid area of the game or even down low. So there's a lot you can do with Dominic. I keep saying that because he's one of the most complete players in the game. Any player whose overall stat average is 4.5 or higher, it's open game, right? You can do whatever you want because they're that good. And again, Dominic Wilkins is an NBA legend, one of the greatest dunkers of all time. If you guys have never seen Dominic's dunk contest, you definitely check out the one he did against when he went up against Michael Jordan. It was incredible. One of the greatest dunk contests ever. Just as good as Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon's dunk contest. So definitely check that out. All right, so those are the rewards for the Fantasy Finals. Be sure to turn on your notifications uh, because we're going to be grinding the Fantasy Finals event. I'm recording this video on Thursday. We'll be releasing it on a Friday. So, you know, we're going to drop our stream most likely on Saturday, in which we're going to be doing the Fantasy Finals grind. We'll go over some tips. We'll go over some best practices. Uh, we'll have the community there as well. And they usually can give some tips as well. A lot of these people grind and know the best way to earn these rewards. But if you're going to grind, definitely go for Dominic Wilkins. This will be worth it. Last week's reward was Joe Dumars, who's decent, right? But he's somebody that isn't nowhere near on the level of greatness as Dominic Wilkins, right? As far as NBA 2K Mobile, right? I don't talk about NBA Legacy, I'm talking about NBA 2K Mobile. Dominic Wilkins is one of the lead players in the game. All right, so that's it. Appreciate all the support everybody's been showing throughout the week. Again, I keep saying it, it's been tough for everybody. I mean, trust me, I know. But we're going to get through it. We're going to keep making contact. We're going to keep having fun. And we're just going to keep the mama spirit alive. All right, so again, thanks for the support. Peace out. Now, remember also, be sure to check out the theme players breakdown. We dropped that video during the week. And also, if you want to submit some clips to be featured in upcoming videos, I'll definitely be needing some clips for Aaron Gordon, some clips for Dominique Wilkins, or any of the other theme players. Feel free to submit it to the submission form. The link is in the description, and I'll feature your gameplay in the upcoming video. I got to do a lot of builds coming up, so I'll definitely feature you guys from the community and shout you out, all right? So again, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for the support. 
If you want one of your clips featured in one of my videos, then definitely check out the description where you'll have a link to go to my NBA 2K Mobile Highlight Submission form. Just fill out the questions on there and send me some really cool gameplay. I'm looking for gameplay of new theme players, dribble moves, alley-oop dunks, and some game-winner buzzer beaters. I'm excited, and I can't wait to feature one of your clips.